Improv for you. That means that what you are about to see has never been seen before. We are going to make it all up right here in front of your eyes. It will never be seen again, except perhaps on YouTube. So, uh, to get started, all we need is a suggestion of a location. The mall. The mall. The mall. The mall. Two teenage girls go walking by in short mini skirts. It's Christmas time and Santa Claus is sitting in his chair waiting for children to come and sit at his knee. The mall security cop is checking out the girls walking by. There's a 40-year-old guy working at Orange Julius who's managing teenagers and hates his life. A really, really strong smell like fruit punch is coming from the body shop. There's a sale at JCPenney and everyone's in there beating each other up to get the newest dress. The photographer with Santa Claus is really jonesing for a smoke. There's two parents who are both reaching out for the same Squeeze Me Elmo toy, realizing it's them or nothing. A janitor is over and on the side next to the, uh, the, the restrooms, mopping up vomit from a 10-year-old who just came from the Orange Julius. The Santa Claus is also really jonesing for a cigarette. There's a sale at the toy store, and there are kids in there begging their parents for all of the latest toys. There's two elves at the foot of Santa who are pissed off because they just found out they're making half his rate. The elves are taller than Santa Claus. <coughs> which pisses them off even further, based on the stereotype. The, the mall did not put a, a lot of effort into the decorations behind Santa Claus. He has a cardboard cutout house and one lone artificial pine tree. The pine tree is barely decorated, just barely. One strand of tinsel goes around and spirals halfway through the pine tree. There's a pair of teenagers coming in for their first date, getting ready to go to see a movie. Both of them realize that, well, they're quite scared of interaction. There's an indoor uh, roll, little roller coaster for kids, which is accidentally stuck at the top, and the kids are screaming to get down. There's the, the guy who's supposed to be monitoring the roller coaster, really, really wants a cigarette.
come to the mall all the time without our parents. Um, Chris, her brother, is like, he's like 16 and he gives us rides. Oh, how so cool. It's, yeah, it's like the mall is amazing without your parents. So. Oh, yeah, I can. I never get to go in the shops I want to go in the mall. Yeah. But uh, um, I was thinking about going to that prank store maybe. I don't know if you're up for that or whatever, but. Okay, yeah, let's go to Spencer's. Michelle usually doesn't like to go, so we can, we can do that. Gosh, you've been to the mall so many times. I, and I know. I'm adventurous. You really are. Yeah. I thought this was going to be like our first time together, but I didn't yeah. realize that you actually oh. you've been here before. <laughs> well, I mean, we've been like dating for like two days now. Like you've been my boyfriend for two days. Yeah, I know, but I thought like this was going to be like our special first time. And evidently, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I just thought, yeah. you know, like this. <laughs>
Siri. No, no, that's pets on the toy. Siri. 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 Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm trying to wet. I'm okay. Oh, thank, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm okay. just saying, it's inappropriate. Okay. It's inappropriate. I don't know why you're such a hater. You seem to be staring a lot at it. Do you notice it so much? Listen. Honestly, I, it sounds to me like we're going to need to bring her mom in here. Oh, oh, yeah, she'll really love that. She'd love to come here and talk to you and tell you what a hater you are. I, I think that's what we ought to do. All right. Frank. Go ahead, call. See if I care. Uh, I, I will. Uh, I, hi. Um, yes. I, I'm, I'm the mother. We had an appointment set up. Just love oh, you. what a coincidence! I was actually just talking with Trisha here. She works in the cafeteria. You don't notice her? I I, I actually had no idea. I don't keep tabs on my students. That quite you don't that notice closely. me? You don't notice me? Well, like uh, I I know that you. Mama, you're staring here. at my skirt. Why are you staring at her skirt? Why are you staring at her skirt, huh? I'm just trying to explain to your daughter that a 13 year old girl wearing a skirt that comes down to here is not appropriate. Well, for my girl looks good. My girl yeah. looks good. She got it going on. Yeah, you got it. You're right, Mama. I'm I'm saying she ought to keep it a little less going on while she's in school. It's you got to you got to be keeping it less going on. You're home my earrings. You got to be keeping it less going on. You you better. Oh yeah, oh, you oh. best be keeping it less going on. Off. You're huh? Now. Huh? It's huh? Mrs. Huh? Collins, right? Yeah, it's Mrs. Collins. Okay. What's up? Can, can, you, can you step back? Just just a. Oh oh. She's she going to you. Just she going to you. Look at my big boots, huh? Just because I wear a tank top in a public school and you're looking at my boots. I'm not looking at your boots. I'm just saying. See, you're a pervert. You're Your daughter can't come to, to my class in miniskirts anymore. That's all I'm saying. So I'm saying is you can't be coming to your class no more. You're saying that I can't come to my I'm class? I'm saying you can't come to your class no more because you, you sick, yo. You sick. This Tell them all. I'm telling him. Um, honestly, can, can, can I ask one favor? If you want to continue to have this discussion, can I get you to put something on? Like, just a, just a, a shirt. Like, a paper from the cafeteria. Something, please. See, what's wrong with what I'm wearing? I, I was, it's just you're, you're yeah, I'm a single mom. I need a husband. I need a husband. You're talking to me really close, and you've got some some like uh, uncovered areas here. I, I'm just saying, let's let's let's. Yeah, do it. yeah. What? I'm proud of him. Mama, mama. I don't think you like girls. I don't think you like girls. I like girls just fine. I don't think you like girls. I, I, you know, I like women my age. I don't like girls. Girls are too young. Yeah, well, I'm a woman. You're, I'm a woman your age. What do you think about this, huh? No. Huh? This is calling seriously. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. Come on, come on. What? What, Joe? It's it's complete bullshit that Santa is making twice what we're making. I know. I just found out, and I, I'm not happy. He's I, 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 That's I, not fair. I've never seen Santa make a train. I'm the train guy. That's terrible. <laughs> Listen, the drug sentence sentenced me to only 180 days of 
community service, and that was over like half a year ago. I don't have to do this anymore. I'm doing this because my brother worked here. I thought I was doing the right thing, working for you, making toys. I don't get to play with Dick. Hey! You're going on my naughty list, mister. Oh, like he even gets presents. <laughs> Listen, I was up in my room eating milk and cookies, and then I heard it was disturbing. Oh, milk and cookies, great for you. We Wait, you had milk and cookies? I had a little bowl of oatmeal for breakfast this morning, and that's all I've had to eat all day long. You know, sometimes we have to eat the dead reindeer, because you forget. Ah, uh, you say it's gaming. It's terrible. Well, I don't care about your conditions at all, okay? You okay. get, you get the, the unions in here, and then we'll talk. Then we'll talk. We're not talking now. You get back to work. We're going to unionize, Santa. No. Yes. Oh, yes. No. Yeah. You can't stop us, Santa. We're, this isn't a right to work state. It's not a right to work continent either. If we build to pay, you will play. If we build to pay, you will play. If we build to play, you will pay. That's what, what I'm talking about. Club. Yeah, something like that. I didn't want to do this, but uh, we get out the matches. Burn this place down. Santa, this is my home! No, Santa, no, Santa, no! Santa, 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 Santa. I've got this on cell phone camera! Where do the kids see this? Chocolate Easter bunnies. Could sell a basket, I suppose. It's a good basket. It's wicker. Yeah, yeah, it's wicker. It's good All stuff. Right. Twenty-five. Yeah, I think that's about worth twenty-five. You didn't get this from me. Okay. All right. Yeah. 
You were amazing in that. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I, I don't want to brag. Oh, no, no, no. You can say whatever you want I mean, after that. Or, ha. <laughs> wow. Uh, you know, Mrs. Claus is kind of distant lately, so. I can't, I can't even fathom that. Yeah, I know. She's really, I mean, after the first 400 years, I guess, it just it dies down after a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the 400 year itch? No, oh, definitely. Well, believe me, it's between us. Okay. She won't know anything. Great. So, how's that business with the tea? Oh, not bad. Not bad. You know, I sneak in, I sneak out, I leave some cash. You, you leave know. more cash nowadays? Well, it's, you know, we're going to a global currency, so mm. sometimes I have to have euros present because they're not really wanted the dollars so yeah, much, you yeah, know? Yeah, true, true, true. But, uh, you know, it makes it heavier. I've got to carry the coins. Right, right. But, uh... Yeah, you could have like every night. I only did once a year. Uh, three, yeah. I'm, I'm 365, 24-7. Yeah, That's my game. You, you and your one day a year. Oh, I work all year you know, for one day. I have all year to prepare for it too, so it's not like no. no. It's, it's I'm, not hard. I'm, I'm basically on a call by call system, you know. So what do you do? Do you have like a beeper? Do you have a cell phone? Well, uh, it's 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 yeah, it's, it's more cerebral waves. They come out. I'm preparing for them. I'm always ready. Wait. First tooth. First tooth in Nebraska. Oh, yeah. Nebraska. Yeah, I'll be there, but uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. No, but. You know, it's what I do. It's what I do. I chose to do it. You do what you do. And then, yeah, well, things happen for a reason, I suppose. You're good at flying around, good at flying around too, but I need help, obviously. Right, no, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah. No, yeah. And I'm sorry about what happened to you and Mrs. Claus. I mean, honestly, yeah. I've known you guys for a long, long time. Yeah. But and I told you, if you need me, just think about yeah. it, and I'm there. Thanks, Thanks so yeah. much, because I, I couldn't get through this without you. No, no, no. Yeah. Hey. I couldn't get through without you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I guess same time next week, if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're available on the Just schedule on those right. out of the way. It's pretty much constant, but I can always get in there a little late, sometimes early morning when they didn't check under the pillow just yet. Right, right in there, you know? Right. Yeah. Hey, nothing's here. They go to the bathroom, bang, I'm right there. <laughs> you know? It's scare them a little bit just then. Well, you know, they, they keep them on their toes, yeah. you know? So, uh, what I was thinking, help you out maybe a little more. Do you want me to maybe encourage kids to eat healthier foods and lose many teeth? Oh, I I really appreciate that. Yeah. But no. no. You keep giving out candy when All you right. do. Oh, well. I'll get on the phone with the bunny. Evidently something's off. Uh, yeah, something's always off with him. It's yeah. nuts. But nonetheless, nonetheless, we all have our demons, right? Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> Believe me. Yeah. You are a freak, I'll say that much. <laughs> well, I, you know, just saying. I go around, you know, I'm a fairy, what can I say? Yeah. But you, you, my friend, are a freak. Yeah, well, we both break into kids' houses when they're asleep. True. We do stuff. And yeah. Like, I guess they leave me no cookies. You don't really get anything left for you, do you? No, 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 I just get the teeth. You just the tooth. Yeah. So what do you do with the teeth? It's a little personal, but I, I, I've kept them for years. Okay. Yeah. That's, that sounds cool. I mean, you like my statues out of them? I have a pool or something. I actually make necklaces. Necklaces? Yeah. Oh, could you sell those or? I could, but it's so it's so weird. Yeah, I think it would be kind of weird. I mean, I guess some shark teeth you could probably make one. Oh, you can totally get that. But the market for regular teeth, yeah. you know, front teeth, molars, the, what have you, it's just not there. Yeah. So do you do teeth like say it's like an adult loses a tooth? Do you eat those teeth too, or just baby teeth? No. No, no, no. no, no. no. That's that's the difference between you and me. You're delivering, you know, to everybody. Right. I'm just hitting 13 and under. By the time they hit 13, they don't even believe us. Uh, uh Clarabel, could you come in here, please? Yeah. Oh, I, I see you're here today. I appreciate that. I appreciate you coming in at, uh, you know, cracking 11:30. Yeah. Uh, I came in to work, y'all. Okay. Yeah, you came in to work today. I, I wanted to talk. No. Can, have a seat. I wanted to talk to you about yesterday. You didn't come in at all. That's a problem here. Uh, we're Bain and Company consultants. We actually need our staff on site. Y'all, this job is boring. Um, boring. Y'all, you're making me come in. Y'all, yesterday I was with my kid, okay? I went to Disney World. Okay. Um, you weren't working. We can't pay you if you're not working. I was with my kid, y'all. See, I only get my kid like once a month because of the custody. 
Uh, Clarabelle, listen, we, we, uh, we pride ourselves on consulting with firms around the globe, and, and frankly, we have a top-notch professional group here. Our employees are the best employees in the country, and if you can't meet that standard, I'm afraid that this is, just isn't going to work out. Y'all, I don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is, dude, I gotta, I gotta chip now. I gotta go in for like an emergency manicure. Like now? Like now. I gotta nail chips. Um, you were meeting with, uh, you are meeting with American Express in 60 minutes. Uh-uh. Y'all, okay, I can go meet with American Express, y'all, but I don't know. Right, I understand that that's like important. Your appearance is, as an employee okay. is a very important thing. I'm just saying, you your know, job has to come first. Yeah, I totally understand what you're saying, and I totally understand your concerns. So I'm going to call American Express. Okay. American Express? Hey, y'all, um, it's me. We were supposed to talk in that 60 minutes, y'all, about your consultant. Oh yes, we will we'll be there as soon as we possibly can. Okay, y'all, here's what's going on. Um, my boss is being an asshole, and he's like a dick and saying like, y'all can't, you can't spend time with your oh, kid. Young lady, and, young lady, young lady, don't use that kind of language with me. Well, I'm just saying that's what he is, okay? Can you put your boss on the phone, please? Uh, no, can you put your boss on the phone? I don't like I the way you're boss. talking to me. Okay, listen, y'all. I don't like the way you're talking to me. Okay, I'm trying yes, to say yes, here. I, what's I, going I, on? Hello, Clarabelle. Can I, can I see that, please? Don't touch me. I just don't want to, touch I just me. Want to see the phone. Okay, y'all. That's sex, sexual oh. harassment. I know my rights. I, I know my rights. Okay. Let's see. Can you hang up the Dude, I've been jailed five times. I know my rights. What? Hang up the phone. I'm hanging up the phone. Okay. You can't talk to clients that way. Seriously. Whatever. You swore on the phone. That's not professional. Clarabelle, listen. You were the you were the valedictorian of your Harvard Business School class. I did not expect this kind of behavior. You're in my chair. With my feet on your desk. Can what you, you gonna do about it, huh? Uh, what uh, you gonna do about it? That keyboard is an ergonomic keyboard. I actually ordered a special. I need you to remove your. What you gonna do about it with your fancy ergonomic trees? Alright. Alright. Um, Y'all can't touch me. I'm wearing a skirt today. It, it, I'm a, listen, I, I, I'm going to call security. No. Uh, I'm you gonna, go to your manicure appointment. I'm going to call security because you keep on sexual harassing me and touching me. I lifted your foot off of my keyboard. Uh, sexual <laughs> harassing, y'all. Listen. Y'all, uh, I've got rights. I've got rights as a worker. Susan. I've uh, got rights as a worker. I know you do. Like, uh, uh, Susan, can you get security in here, please? Uh, yeah, you best get security in here because he's sexually harassing me. He is sexually harassing me, Susan. Uh, Claire, well, I think it's I think it's best if um, well, we'll send you your final paycheck at home. How how does that work? I think it's it's best you best you send your paycheck uh, my to, paycheck to your home. Is actually a direct deposit. It just the final paycheck will send it. <laughs> Y'all got direct deposit in here, and I didn't get none of it. This is bullshit. We explained that to you on your first day. Oh, oh y'all were like talking hard words and stuff. I didn't get it. It was like hard words. All right, Clarabelle, uh, it, it's been a pleasure. Um, we appreciated your, your service here. Please don't put your name, our, our name, down in your resume um, because we're not going to give you a good recommendation. And it, uh, see, it's, it's behavior like that. It's, it's really kind of the problem.
Please, uh, this is Jim. Hey, Jim. This is Jim. Hello, Jim. Yeah, yeah, this is Jim. Jim, this is Jim. Yes. Uh, Wait, Jim? Yes. Jim. Yes. In Home and Garden. Correct. Not the one over in, in groceries. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere. Okay. Uh, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm straight. Jim, we've got a we've got a perp here. A perp? Yeah. Evidently, there was some confusion and mass confusion at that, and uh, we may need you to come in. Uh, you mean from home? Well, if, if you have the ability to come in, you're not going anywhere. Uh, it's going to take me about 25 minutes to get there. All right, Jim. I, I've got a serious situation right here. This guy was just causing damage to the home and garden area. Uh, I'm, I'm on my way. Jim? Yes. This is Jim here. Hey, Jim. Okay. Jim, Jim. Hold on, which Jim are you talking uh, to? The, the security guard, Jim. Oh, okay. Well, I'm on my way then. Jim, I uh, I can see you on the, the monitor here, and you have a, a clear shot, so you are what? completely authorized what? to do uh, I was anything you need to to take this perp down. Alright, I, I, it's a go. It's a go. It's a go. It's a go. Sir? On your knees. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was moving. The on chair. your knees. I was. I wasn't stealing. Jim, you have a, a clear shot I'm, here if you want to. Is it green to go? Oh, is it green step. to go? I'm confused. There are no. civilians in the area. You're you're good. There's a there's nobody else for. This is why I don't three try. Three aisles, so you're good to go. All right. I'm gonna get down to business here. What do you think you're doing? I was moving the chair. It was on the ground. I was trying to help you people out. Jim, are you getting this? I I'm getting this, Jim. This is being recorded. This is going on as permanent record. Oh, good. I'm glad it's recorded. I hope the court see it my way then. Jim, you didn't just start recording until he had caused the confusion. I, uh, Jim, I, I started recording once you got to the scene. Okay, good. We're good then. Yeah. What do you We're think? good. Thank you, Jim. What do you think you're doing? I just told you I was moving the chair. I was on the floor and I moved it up. That's all I was doing. I wasn't stealing it. That's oh, it. you're Mr. Helper. Yes, I guess I was. And I guess it was a mistake, apparently. Jim, am I hearing this correct? You have a, a Mr. Helper here? Yeah, Mr. Jim, Helper. You take him down. You take him down now. We don't need no Mr. We don't need any Mr. Helpers in this target. You take him now. Get down. Get down. Get it down. That's what we do with helpers. Oh, God. All I wanted was eggs. I hey, just... Jim, are you there? Yeah. Oh, this is Jim. God. Yeah, listen, Jim, I, I, you know, I'm out of my car. I, I've got a flat tire. I'm not going to make it in. I'm just going to take care of the paperwork tomorrow, all right? God. Just, like, uh, what I would do, I, I don't think I would actually arrest this guy. I, from the situation the way I understand it, we ought to shoot him. What? Thanks, Jim. What? Gotcha. I'll take care of the paperwork no. tomorrow. Jim, you're clear. You have a, a clear I'll shot. I'll pay whatever you want me to Clear shot. No. Out. Out. Who is this stranger? We put in, in your baby bottle. 
I mean, you've had it since you were an infant. And you get clean. You are a stranger. In my house, you get out right now. Just trying to be a good member of society. We society. don't need no member, good members of society here, okay, y'all? Listen, we don't need no good members of society. So you get out of here, okay? Can you teach you? Mom. Get out of here. Mom, can you, like, cover that up, please? This, this, is, this is me. A bird this is society. me. I'm not going to cover myself <laughs> up. This is me. This is your... <laughs> Wow. Mrs. Claus, I can call you that now, Mrs. Claus. Yeah. You were officially Mrs. Claus, and it's officially. official between us. Officially. Gosh. I I knew, I mean, I, I knew this was gonna be special, you know. But now you're I mean, you know, we're we're gonna be combining the two holidays. I'm so excited. Oh, I, I bet you are. I am. Really great because we're capitalizing on all of the commercialism of two Christian holidays at once. Oh, it's awesome. They won't even remember the holidays after this. It'll just be Christmas, Easter. What for? Who cares? It's candy and presents, you know? Priester. 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 And Eastmas. Eastmas. Nice. Nice. Wow. I I don't know what to say. I mean, you know, you found me and uh Maybe the happiest guy on earth. Listen, I need to confess to, you, to something to you now. Okay. Well, whatever. What? What is it? I used to. Uh, I used to get fucked up. Oh, well, <laughs> that's okay. I mean, we all did funny things when we were younger. Yeah, but you know, it was selling kids stuff just to just to get eggs. Oh no. You, you weren't giving away the kids presents for for drugs. Oh. Why didn't you tell me this before? I mean, you should have known this about my metrics. I, 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 that's why I like you. But, yeah. but this? The kids? I, it's, I should have told you sooner. You're damn right you should have. No, I, don't even, don't even put that paw on me. Your hand's sweaty anyways. Yeah, I realized that. I was very excited. And now, let down. I mean, how could you? I, it was a long time ago. It was, it was before I met you, like a week before I met you. What do the kids think? What do they think now? Oh, no, I don't have the ability to read minds. Well, I do. And they'll think you're naughty. Not no, don't put me on the naughty list. You're on the naughty list. <gasps> Don't put me on the naughty list! Bunny! No! Naughty! No! <laughs> Done. And that's why Santa pays his employees nothing. That's right. Ah, uh, so you're Clara Bell. Welcome to America's Next Top Model. We're happy to have you here. I understand you were the Valley Victorian from Harvard Business School. I went to Harvard, y'all. I learned some shit there. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's a pleasure to have you here on the show. Um, what we're going to need you to do is we're going to need you to change into an outfit for a photo shoot today. Okay, you want me to put more clothes on? Because, y'all, I'm already wearing a tube top. Well, we have an outfit picked out for you. Dude, this is not a fancy shit. It's like... Right. That's uh, kind of the point of the show, actually. It's like actually. a town, y'all. I know. <laughs> This is like a dream come true for most women in America. Yeah, okay, y'all are asking me to like put on dresses and stuff. That's not what I do, okay, y'all. I'm when I'm this. This is me. This is Clara. I'm not gonna change who I am to fit into Tyra Banks and America. No, well, uh, like seriously, I thought I thought that you had worked this out with your agent and everything. Uh, but listen, Jay, this is JJ Alexander. I don't know who you are. Barry, I don't know who you are. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful with the hate speech. Hey, y'all, I'm just saying who I am, okay? Y'all, you better be, you better be careful with hate speech. You're like hating on me. I'm just saying that, that in order to participate in the program, you've got to put on a dress. That's, that's all I'm saying. You're all hating on me. You're all hating on these. 
Uh, this skirt. Uh, frankly, I got this from Walmart, y'all. Frankly, it's all very I got this from Walmart, okay? It, it, it's all very lovely. I'm just saying that if we're going to participate in the program, we've got to participate. With hey, y'all. I would tell you. It's one of the best designers that we have in America, right? I don't, I don't even know who Giomi Versace is. I don't even know who that is, y'all. I can't even pronounce that. It's like hard. Uh, it's a Giovanni, actually, but like seriously. Like, okay, y'all, I was in Harvard Business School. Great. And then one time I fell off of the balcony and I hit my head and it really hurt. And then I was like, different. But, you know, what I'm saying is, even though I went to Harvard and I know stuff, I don't even know who Giovanni Versace is. Listen, if it's, I'm sure it fits. We've got the we've got your measurements. Uh, just you better put that away. You're trying to get me naked, y'all. You're trying to get me naked now. Yeah, What's yeah, your I'm, problem? I'm gay. I mean, it's like it's not What's like your problem? You like sexually harassing me? You think it's okay because you're gay? I'm not trying to sexually. I'm just trying to get gay? on you because we've got to take some photos. You're gay because you don't like these because well, you're gay. Seriously, like what? Where? Hey, Dad. How's hey. it going? Not so good, son. Not so good. Rough day at Orange Julius Pops? Oh, you don't know the half of it. I go there, some little teenage punk wants a banana orange smoothie. I mean, it says orange. I'm not fooling anyone. No. Julius. It's not banana Julius. No, it's not. Well, at least you're enjoying the Christmas rush. Oh, yeah. I'm really enjoying that. Uh, there are like 50 people in line, and they all want, and I want it stirred this way, and I want it stirred that way. Are these fresh oranges? Are they from Florida? Who do they think I am? I'm not Julius, okay? No, no. I, I, I just work for them. Yeah, no. <coughs> Well, I'm proud of you, oh, no matter what. Thank you. Uh, so, have you considered any of that serious thought about interning with me over the summer? I've thought about it, yeah, long yeah. and hard. Mm -hmm. And I think, well, I'm gonna head to the North Pole and try to join on there with Sam. Okay. It's such a big deal there at the mall every year. I've, I've just seen it develop so much. I wanna be a part of it. It's who I am. Who you are is the son of the manager of Orange Julius, and that's who you must be. I'm more than that, Pop. I can be an elf. I can be an elf, too. You think you could be an elf? You're like six feet tall. So what? Half the elves there are at least six foot tall. They're all bigger than Santa. Don't you pay attention? That's a lie. <laughs> Slanders lie. Those are not the stories my mother read to me. You're just, <clears throat> you're just keeping the mall story safe. I know the truth. He wears risers. No, you shut your filthy mouth, you scoundrel. He is a jolly old elf and he wears boots. I tell him, boots that you walk through the snow. Well, I'm gonna find out. I'm taking the train tomorrow. Good luck trying to find me a train going to the North Pole. Well, there's one. Oh, I'm sure. In your, in your <clears throat> deluded mind, I'm sure there's a train everywhere. There is a train everywhere. And I'm going to take it. Well, I'm going to take the train to Disappointment Town, because that's what you are to me. Disappointment. I work my whole life in Orange Julius, hoping one day my son will pick up the reins and know he wants to go and be an elf. Ooh, an elf. That's such a prestigious position. You going to put that on your application and you get a new job? I was an elf. I was an elf. I was an elf. I'm going to pick up the reins, all right? <coughs> Reindeer reins, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. We're going to um, take a two-minute break, and then we're going to do something different. Uh, stay right where you are. <laughs>